is much lower than it was in the 80s or the 90s or uh, when I first took office. That uh, immigration rates are substantially lower than they were when Ronald Reagan was president. That um, you know, as serious as these terrorist attacks are, uh, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, the American people are significantly more safe now than they were uh, uh, before all the work that we've done since 9-11. Talking Points is in business to put forth the truth. So here it is. According to an average of polling by Real Clear Politics, 69% of Americans are unhappy with the direction. Of the USA. That is a direct repudiation of President Obama's point of view. Because if we're all safer, as he says, and the economy is fine, why would the folks feel the country's on the wrong track? Why? The perception problem is twofold. Americans believe that a stagnant economy is making it very difficult for workers to increase their salaries, and that's true. The majority of Americans also believe that disorder, disorder, both at home and around the world, is putting them in actual danger. Donald Trump has capitalized on those sentiments, saying he will make things better. Hillary Clinton seems to mostly support President Obama's vision, but does acknowledge the economic problem. I want an economy that gets back to raising incomes for everybody. Most Americans haven't had a raise. I want an economy that's going to help lift millions of people out of poverty because given the Great Recession, we have fallen back in the wrong direction. Nine years ago, I mean, come on. By this time, the American economic engine should be roaring. Instead, growth this year estimated to be below 2%. That's dismal. Now, there are three new polls in the Trump-Clinton race. CNN has a 48-45 Trump, so he got a bounce out of the Republican convention last week, according to CNN. CBS has a 44-43 Trump, a tie. Los Angeles Times, 45-41 Trump over Clinton. So despite all the controversy surrounding Donald Trump, if the election were held today, he might very well win. However, to be fair, perhaps Hillary Clinton will get a bounce out of her convention this week. Now back to the problems. Higher taxes and massive income redistribution will not stimulate the economy. So this is what going to have to do is separate yourself from the Obama machine or run on the economy we have now. Many in the Democratic Party support open borders. That means the consequences of illegal drug importation, illegal aliens committing crimes, and higher competition for low-wage jobs will continue if there were open borders, would they not? It'll be interesting to see if any Democrat puts forth a specific solution to deal with illegal immigration this week. On the foreign front, President Obama's decision to pull all U.S. troops out of Iraq directly led to the rise of ISIS. The president's failure to attack ISIS on the ground has allowed the savages to expand their influence. Mr. Obama's failure to destroy Assad's air force in Syria when he could have, after drawing that red line over poison gas, has directly led to millions of refugees storming into Europe. That crisis has profoundly damaged the region and perhaps even stimulated Great Britain leaving Obama's failure to confront Putin in Russia has directly led to chaos in Ukraine and Eastern Europe. The Iranian New Deal has increased the power of the Mullahs in the Middle East. The Libyan debacle has given ISIS a foothold in that country. The Chinese are expanding in Southeast Asia. Afghanistan is now a sanctuary not only for the Taliban, but also for ISIS terrorists who killed 80 people over the weekend in Kabul. The list goes on. Back home, race relations are worse than at any time since the 1960s. In some areas, police and young black men even fear for their lives. The far left has run wild under President Obama, selling a narrative that America is a bad country, an evil country, dominated by white supremacy. Drug use is skyrocketing, even as the Obama administration puts forth that criminals who sell poison like heroin, meth, and cocaine are nonviolent and deserve leniency. Political correctness destroying free speech and giving power to the charlatans who are clogging the court system with frivolous lawsuits. Again, talking points could go on for hours. So Donald Trump may be terrifying voters with his rhetoric, as the New York Times says, but his warnings are based in reality, are they not? 
foreign and domestic terrorism is a contagion that is not being effectively confronted. Americans understand. Yeah, baby. Routine to see innocent people. Okay, just a minute. All of what I have just laid out in this talking points is in stone truth, no spin. And that truth has led to the rise of a strong man politician, Donald Trump. The Democratic Convention this week will seek to counter Mr. Trump. We'll see if it succeeds. And that's the memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction. Join us in Washington.